I want to thank each and every one of you for your support so far. The channel just got to 3,000 subscribers and I appreciate your support so far. If you are watching this, thank you so much. Now the next target is 5,000 subscribers and I hope we can do that before the end of May. If you are in support of this motion, let me know in the comment section. So in this video, I'm doing the candy test effect in Photoshop. Without any further ado, let's jump right into the video. Okay, so here in Photoshop, I'm going to use um, the size 1920 by 1080. You can use obviously any size that you want to use. So what I do first is I'm going to set a background, like a solid background. You can use different backgrounds for this particular test effect. Okay, but before then, we are going to need a pattern and that pattern is not preset or is not set in Photoshop. Like we have to do it our own way like a costume pattern according to the colors that you want to use you can basically use more than two colors but at least you, you have to use two colors to make the thing real catching okay so let's go ahead and set the pattern we are going to set it in a different um document and then save it and come back okay so what we are going to do is we're going to select um, a new document of four by four inches like that and then you click ok so it opens a new document for you. You double click and you create a new layer from it and then you hide the background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my rectangle to draw a very long tiny rectangle like this and then you're going to give it a color. So if the color black you want to use, you just maintain color. But I want to use red and something like dark red. Okay, so when you're done, you press Ctrl T and then you rotate it this way, right? So you take it to the very edge of the document like this, just like that, okay? And then what you're going to do is you can zoom in from here, but you just have to make sure it is at the very edge, like you can push it over there. So what you're going to do is you're going to duplicate this same rectangle and then you double click on it and then you choose your second color. So basically I choose something that is a bit darker than the first one that we used i hope it's simple and then you hold shift and then you drag it down like that so it just comes straight it doesn't bend or anything like that so you can also decide to make it very close to each other or you can just decide to widen it up but anyway you can also scale it when you get to the pattern so after doing these two what you have to do is you duplicate the two like this and then you hold shift and then you drag it down like that so when you are done go and select the first one hold shift and select the last one to select or press ctrl and then j to duplicate and then you drag it down so basically it is a duplication of what we have done so far so we just duplicate it like that and this and then the last one would have to be like this so when you are done with all this mind you you can change the colors anytime you want if you want uh, like light green or anything like any type of candy that you want to use so let's go to edit and then define pattern okay so you go to define pattern and then you give this pattern a name so basically we can use candy one because i would want us to let's say change a couple of the colors over here also this one we change this to probably like green or light green okay something like that and then we can also change all the reds in this to green basically like that okay let's use this okay so after doing this you can also save this one as a different pattern so like that and then you go to edit and then define pattern okay so this one be candy 2 and then you save it so when you are done you just terminate this one because you don't need it again like you close it and then you come to the main background that you set so we're going to type in a test right and i'm using the font chrome black i'll put the link in the description you can check that one out so what i'm going to type first will be my candy over here and then you resize it basically like that i just decided to use a font a particular font size 
I think that is 85 because I want it to be bold like that. Okay. So when you have it like this, what you have to do is right click on the candy, the test that you just typed, and then you go to the blending options, and then you come to the pattern overlay over here. So when you come to the pattern overlay, Photoshop gives you this costume or default one. So what you have to do is you go to your pattern here and then you change it like that. So it's as simple as that. If you want to use the candy two, this is the candy two. So we want to maintain the first one and that is it. Okay, so you can take your time to scale it. Like you don't have to have all this in it, but basically that is like, that is the main concept over here. So let's try to add some couple of effects to this. So let's go back to the blending options and then we go to bevel and emboss okay and the bevel and emboss we're going to increase the softness over here and then we're going to increase the depth a little more like you you want to make it look a bit bossy right and then you increase the size small to make it look more bossy and not look just very pale like that so that is it and then you can add some kind of contour to it also to make it look more bossy and that that is it so the last thing that we will add is the inner shadow so we increase the size over here like that to make it look more candy like so that is it i hope this video was helpful and once again thank you so much for 3000 subscribers after this you can basically t change the test from here to anything like 3000 subscribers like that and then you can rescale the pattern to make it look more good looking thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like and subscribe and remember 5k before the end of may i'll see you in the next video innocent here bye